Hello everybody out there and welcome back to another weekly comic book haul. That's right guys, the weekly comic book haul is staying and is going to remain exactly the same way it's been. My comic books and whatever else I accumulate within a week, all posted on Friday in a wonderful video here on the weekly comic book haul. So the haul is safe, it's fine, we're going to be continuing forward with it. There is a new format for the thumbs, but other than that, the show is exactly the same as um, it's been for the past almost 100 episodes now. So this week, no extras, and there's a reason for that. You'll find out tomorrow, as we're recording this on Saturday, uh, just the books for this video, and got a nice amount of books this week, so... I would, leave, I would say some news, but technically all the stuff is being released uh, in announcements, so the best news I can give you for this week is keep an eye out for the announcements. I tried to keep a lot of them as short as possible unless they were announcements in videos. If it's an announcement in a video, it might be a little bit longer depending on the video. This whole video should be the last or second to last video. No, it will be the last video of Saturday. The indie review might be the first video of Sunday, and then the rest of the announcements and the grand finale, uh, which is the 300th comic book review. There are two announcements that will happen after the 300th comic book review. Um, I urge you guys to check those two out the most, because that is, those two are one of the first uh, changes I decided to make with this channel, or different things I decided to do with this channel. Uh, after 300 so definitely check those out or else you're going to be a bit lost starting next week just saying all right so this week's books we got daredevil issue number 17 x-men 92 issue number two thor's issue number two the Flash Annual number four, and I did look through this a bit. I'm very disappointed that they didn't continue the story. This is more along the lines of a backstory for Professor Zoom. Uh, I'll talk about that when we get to the comic book review. I still have to read a bit of it. I'm just disappointed that they didn't continue the story. I'm a little disappointed there. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue 48. I love this variant cover. I love it. It's really awesome. And I really love this variant cover for Superman issue number 42. I love it. It has all the Superman costumes in, uh, in uh, like several different hangers. And then you got Superman trying to figure out which one he wants to wear. I love that. Okay. I have no idea how that happened. I guess I got two of the same. Because I have another Thor. I think somebody made a boo-boo at Midtown. Wow. Good job! Free book. Star Wars, issue number seven. Spawn, issue 254. Uh, Deathstroke, annual, issue number one. Looking forward to this. I believe Superman M1, well, obviously they're on the cover. They're both guest starring in this book. Got Age of Ultron vs. Marvel Zombies, issue number two. Sonic Boom, issue number ten. The book I missed that we now have, which is Mega Man World Unite Battle One-Shot. The final issue for Grim Tales of Terror, issue number 13. IDW's Ghostbusters Get Real, issue number 2. Ninjak, we decided to start getting physical copies of, issue number 5, I believe this is, right? Yes, issue 5. He-Man The Eternity War, issue number 8. And I love this cover for Deadpool's... Secret, Secret Wars issue number three. I think this is really building Michael's, rebuilding Mike's love for Deadpool. And maybe when issue one comes out, he'll uh, be jumping on board for issue one again. And hopefully this time it'll keep him. Because it, did, it kept him for a little while, but then things kind of fell uh, uh, awry. So hopefully uh, it'll keep him. So that's the whole for this week, guys. These are the books that you'll be seeing on Indie Review 95. So five more reviews. Remember, the Indie Review is immune to any announcement made on this channel until episode 100. Then we'll see if there's any changes that will be coming. We'll mention that, like I said, at the very end of the 300th Comic Review Celebration. Uh, 300 will be all of the big two books, um, so I'm looking forward to doing 300. 300 should be the third to last video for this channel 
originally it was going to be the last video for this channel. I just want to, I rather, I don't know, I'm still debating if I want to do the two announcements before the 300th comic review and then end on the 300th comic review, or do the 300th comic review and then do the announcements, but I feel like if I do that, as I'm doing this whole video, I'm thinking about it, if I do that, I feel like I'm, and it doesn't fit, it would fit better if I did the announcements first and end it all on the 300th comic review and then just remind you guys of the announcement in the three comic review, 300th comic review. So, we'll see how tomorrow pans out. Keep an eye out. Either way, I might do an outro video for the entire 300th comic review celebration weekend just because it's been a hectic week. It started off very hectic on the live show and um, things have been a little bumpy on Saturday. Busy, very busy. And um, tomorrow might be a little bit easier, but still I'd like to make an outro just recapping everything. So, we'll see how that goes. So until then, guys, take care. As always, don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com, Zone4Podcast.com, and Frontline Gaming Zone. Together, we are your number one source for comic-related news, reviews, and a whole bunch more. A lot of stuff on this channel will be connecting to Zone4 and Comic Frontline. So stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for more announcements and the two comic reviews. So take care, everybody, and I'll see you guys literally really soon.